Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Last episode, we leveled up in Nightmare Dungeons, and today we're going to continue doing that. Hopefully we can hit level 82 today. And we are going to start with Iron Hold. Why not? Dungeon Affixes, Thorns, Stormbane's Wrath, Monster Lightning Damage, Monster Fire Resist, and Resistance Breakers. All right, so let's use uh, Wheat Crushing Elisk there. And we'll get into the dungeon. Hope you guys are doing well today. Doing pretty good. I ranted about the game last episode. Just trying to wrap my head around, you know, how I feel about the game at the moment. Won't be doing too much of that today. <laughs> but I have heard a dev, uh, some I think this guy named Mr. Llama, he's a Diablo 2 content creator. Pretty much a Diablo content creator, but mostly plays Diablo 2. He was talking to a dev, and he said the dev had dev said he had a lot of fun playing the game. It's just uh he thinks the itemization was bad. Like later on. I can see what he's saying about that. I said he didn't like it. Really, the only items I really remember are the uniques. Some more memorable than others. But the, the ancestral legendaries, they're really just orange items that I'm I'm just looking at at stats. Like I don't really I don't really know the names of any of these items. I think I memorize the aspects more than the legendaries that drop. I don't really know if that's a bad thing, because I don't know. I, I like the uniques. The unique idea was cool. I think if the game didn't have uniques, it would be, be in a rough spot. But I can see why people think the itemization is a little underwhelming. Like, if a legendary drops, I just look at it like this. I, I don't look at the name of it. I'm just like, oh, it's an ancestral legendary. And it's a it's a neck piece or a chest or, or pants. I never really check out the name <laughs> of the item. Because in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Because, like, I can change everything about the Legendary. I think this game mostly focused more on, like, the aspects. Instead of, like, the, the Legendary items. Because really anything can be a Legendary. Like, even the rares can get turned into Legendaries. All that stuff. So, like, Legendaries really don't matter that much. It needs time it's mostly the aspects, I think, that matter the most. Yeah. And the stats that are on the legendaries. Need more time. Like, most of the legendaries I'm wearing right now were, you know, rare ancestral pieces of loot first, and then I turned them into legendaries and put aspects on them. Like, I would honestly never skip out on, you know, checking out the stats from rare ancestral pieces. I did that a lot on my druid. And a bit on my rogue, too, during World Tier 3. Until somebody commented about it, and then I was like, oh man, I really, really missed it out here. So now it's a nice loot, potentially. Ready. 
go. Is that health pot? We'll make our way up here. That's something I don't think they'll change. There's no way they'll change the itemization. That's just way too much of an overhaul. That's something I really don't matter, mind that much, though. I think the itemization, yeah, it's not like... It's not that great, but it, it's, it's better than Diablo 3. I'll give it that. Really, the only item I remember in Diablo 3 is the Ring of Royal Grandeur. <laughs> That's an item I would always have to get on my on my characters. But there, I think there's a much more memorable items in this game. The thing is, is that a lot of them are so rare that you'll just never see them. So you end up like not really remembering the name or of them because you just never see them in games because they're so rare. But supposedly in Season 2, we'll eventually get to see more of those. Okay, let's get the Bloodstone here. My only qualm with the game is what I was talking about yesterday. It's just... I just want to get to 100 faster. <laughs> That's it. Everything else I don't really mind that much. It's hard to make game like um make this game like need more time. You know, previous Diablos. Like it want they want they clearly want Diablo 4 to be its own thing. They don't want it to be like to they, didn't, they don't want it to be like three. Kind of feels like it's a mix of both. So we got that to 15. We'll start getting combat up now. Let's head back and see what loot we got. Hopefully we got some good stats. So that's pretty much what we're looking at. We're just looking at for, for stats and aspects. And it's pretty damn rare to get the combination of stats that you want. Havoc Blaze. Ah, Twisting Blades aspect. We have a lot of these, but we'll, we'll hold on to this. Okay, stats. And there was supposedly somebody who uh, completed this game that was blind. They did, and the, the way they would um, like cycle through the stats is they would get get it, uh, like I guess an AI or, or something to read it. That's a grind, man. Can you imagine reading through all these, like li waiting, listening through all these stats? Something nice ring here. But not uh, not good enough, I don't think. It's pretty good. It's got the lucky hit. The, the close, the close damage to close enemies is, isn't bad. Oh, we don't have any crit on it. Like that is a grind, man. Shout out to him. I think his name's Titan, or that was his character's name. I was watching a stream and somebody was, was talking about it. And I was like, that's impressive, man. 
did like a, a tier 46 dungeon or it's like a dungeon tier 40s at level 70 72 i think i think the real impressive thing is just being able to like listen through like all of the all of the stats <laughs> That is a grind in itself. This isn't for the fort, for Akarat. Surely you understand that. <sighs> also, the damned ancient reservoir. Which one should we do next? Let's do Bastion of Faith. Dungeon of Fixes, Battle Hardened, Power Deletes, Monster Lightning Damage, Monster Regen, and Armor Breakers. I'm just going to do some random dungeons today we haven't done in a while. Because that really speeds it up, you know? If you're able to just, like, scan through through the items, you can really get it, get through it quick and just get back to playing the game. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive to me that he actually grinded and got, got his character up there. Not sure if he got to 100. He probably did. Seems like he was pretty dedicated. And you need that when you're playing Diablo, because there's a, you know, there's a lot of uh, you get you get a lot of junk. You know what I mean? You go through a lot of junk before you get a nice piece. But when you get a nice piece, it uh, feels good. In the shrine. Tell the difference from like a tier uh, 31 from a tier 35. Like, the mobs stay alive much longer. These mobs just get completely deleted. I think it's like a sweet spot where we're at right now, the tier 31. Always one down here, you gotta remember the job. Usually forget that. Let me just go up here. I think this is the final room though, right? This is where we drop the animus off. No, it's not. Come <laughs> on. 
Okay, now we just have to drop off the animus. So that's over here. Paragon point. We're going to get to unlock a new board soon, which is good. Which means we'll get to get another glyph socket as well. Go the final room. I always forget to get these guys. He go in there? No. Gotta wait till the end. Man, it's a protected. Don't forget to go into the, to that room at the end. Usually I get a legendary from the chest. Bastion of Faith, hop in here. Good amount of weeds in here, all good. Yeah, see that? The ancestral chest. Every time there's like a it's a legendary if you can pick up. We'll come back and pick it up. The rest of the loot. And we'll get combat to rank eleven, so that's good. Let's see what we got, guys. Hopefully, we got some good loot. Sacred Legendary Amulet with the Shadow Step. It's a nice one. Is that perfect? Yeah, it's got a perfect Shadow Step uh, aspect. We don't, we've never gotten that before. That's good. So I'll read it off to you. Shadow Step has an additional charge. Killing an enemy with Shadow Step refunds a charge and increases the sh damage of Shadow Step by 9% for 2 seconds up to 45%. It's a really good... Uh, Aspect for us. We're getting a lot of good aspects the last few episodes. Just not, uh, we're just, we're just not getting the stat combinations we want. Oh, 
Okay, so let's head back in. We'll get the rest of the loot. What I do is I, I just get rid of the sacreds and then on the ancestral rares. I'm just looking for like a certain set of stack combinations. That'll uh might be better than the current legendary that we're wearing. I think the best item we got is our, our crossbow. It's got all the stats we want. Not perfect, but it's got everything we want on it. Which was vulnerable damage, critical strike damage, damage to close enemies, and dexterity. A lot of sacreds there. Do we pick up the chest? Not in town. There was a chest down there. Oh, so what happens is when you leave a a nightmare dungeon or any dungeon that has a legendary in it. The legendary goes to your stash. So here it is here. Let's check it out. 801 item power. That's pretty good. Stack stats are not good. And the aspect is it's not good either. It's too bad. That is too bad, guys. So we'll get rid of this and then we'll Head off to another dungeon. I wonder if we got any Grim Favors while we... Oh, no. None. Sometimes you can get Grim Favors while you're doing the Nightmare Dungeon. Come back if you need the forge. Okay, let's go and do another dungeon, guys. Tomb of the Saints, Grand Hold. It's one we haven't done in a while. So we'll do Tomb of the Saints. Range Halls of the Damned. Let's do Halls of the Damned. Dungeon of Fixes, Thorns, Nightmare Portal, Monster Shadow Damage over time, Range Defenders, and Dodge Breakers. I think we won't get 82 here. But it'll be close. Grass, nice. This mobs are level nine. nine levels above us. done halls of the damn in a long time we haven't gotten nightmare portal as a an affix in a while as well their portals kind of cool I usually just leave them up You gotta be kidding me. That guy just hit me before we were able to get into the teleporter. There's another portal. They seem to be following me around here. Oh, 
time. I'd be interested to know, like, what percentage of the player base gets to level 100. I don't think it's very high. Like out of my friend group who got the game, I think one guy got a hundred. Just one. There's like, I guess, six of us? Doesn't really say much, <laughs> but, you know, I guess you could say like, I don't know. It's a low, I just think it's a low percentage of people. Because what happened was, like, people were leveling characters. They weren't able to get to 100 during the Eternal Realms for Season 1. It happened, it just, it happened to me, too. And then Season 1 comes out, then you're like, oh, damn, I'm just, I guess I'm going to bail on my, you know? I'm going to bail on my Eternal Realms character to play Season 1, because why not, right? <laughs> so then you bail on that character, and then eventually they give up on Season 1, and then they just never get a level 100. I have to get my druid to level 100. You know, it's kind of weird, but like, I feel like I owe it to my druid. It's a pretty big grind. Like, I, I'm honestly thinking about playing my druid even if season 2 is out. Like, thing is, we only got to get to... 100 from 82. I don't know what that's like, but we'll get to see here how long that's supposedly going to take. And I still need to to grind um, Renown on my Druid. I don't have my Renown completed. I messed up. I got the levels... I got to level 82, like, past 75 before I was able to, uh, complete my Renown, so while I'm trying to still grind the Renown and, and get it up to max, so we can get all the, the 20 extra Paragon points, I'm kind of, uh, taking a DPS, or uh, an experience loss, because I'm fighting mobs that are, are under my level. But supposedly, when Season 2 comes out, they're getting rid of Renown, so maybe that'll be, be good for my, my Druid. I don't have to farm the Renown anymore. Because that was a, a pet peeve of mine, is that I was getting less XP for doing, like, you know, normal dungeons, because I'm just trying to farm Renown, right? And I did a lot for that. Like, I, I honestly did quest. I think I did the majority of the quests that were combinations of, of dungeon and quest. Because there's, there's quests out there that you can pick up. I think I went on Reddit to figure this out. And certain quests lead you into a dungeon. I made sure I picked up as many of those as I could while I was leveling up. So, I don't know if I have any of those left. Uh, we'll see what happens when the time comes. A lot of stuff I want to do on the road first before we attack to the druid. Yeah.
time. All right, so back to the sepulchrum. All those demons got wrecked. And it's rough playing the druid, like doing, like backtracking like that. So I consider it pretty much backtracking. And the reason why it's rough is because I'm playing like one of the slowest builds in the game. I'm playing Pulverized Bear. And it's just you're slow. Character's so slow. You got Trample though. Trample every like 10 to 15 seconds you can use to speed you up a little bit. So, I messed up there. So I made sure on my rope that we would get um, our renown completed before level 75, or at least at level 75. So we wouldn't have to feel like we were backtracking. You do take an XP loss if you're fighting mobs under your level. It's 10% for a level. It's smart the reason why they did that is because they wanted to stop power leveling, which is good. Over here! Help! Watch out! Watch out! Yeah, conduit just at the right time. Almost died there. Need more time. Need more time. <laughs> Need more time to get to a hundred. Time for a boss. We should probably kill the stuff back here, actually. We'll do the boss after this. One. I wonder if we clear out this this side here. Will we get a hundred? Time to fight the boss. And it is the tomb lord. I had a lot of wars against this guy. I'm not sure. It was a tough boss. There we go, 82. We got Older's Cave sigil, sigil. Nice. Get rid of this. Pick that up. Oh, yeah, never mind. We're just going to come back. Keep leveling up combat. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back and pick up all the other loot. But it's good. We got 82. It's hoping we would get that at the end of the dungeon. Eighteen more to go. It's going to be close. I don't know if we're going to pull it off. You can still use these. 
It's almost October. That? That's another thing about three that was cool. Like you could be at like you can be miss like a month of the season and be like tell a buddy like, hey man, I think you should play and they'll be like, oh, I don't know, man, can you think I can catch up? And you'll be like, Yeah, sure. It takes like three days to level your character and <laughs> you're right in the mix with everybody. Can't do that in four. These are some nice pants. Just doesn't have the third uh stat we want. I can break that down. Normally I would read what's on the items, but it's just it's too it'd be too much reading, guys. So I just scan over it. I don't have really good stats on this legendary or a good aspect. Ancestral legendary pants. Aspects not good. Same with the stats. That? All these other items I'm getting rid of are just sacred rares. Not a good uh, aspect on that sacred legendary. You can still use these. It is shocking though when you see like a an item with the stats you want on it. It's like, it's like, oh my gosh. Can't believe these exist. Alright, so let's head back. Like, dude, after like... I don't know. After, after like 50 hours of gameplay in Diablo 3, your character would be decked. Like, you'd have insane loot. Like, multiple different sets. At the moment, I, I honestly like Diablo 3 more than 4. But I think 4 can be better in time. It will be better. It's going to be better eventually. They'll, they'll, they'll get, it's going to be good. I know that sounds like copium, but it should. It has, it, it, like, everything is good, but the gameplay is fun. Love the art, love the graphics. It's just a. Uh, it's the same. I'm just rehearsing what I always say. So you you guys already know. Know what it is. You can still use these. But I, I should have better loot by now, I think. That's what I'm saying. I didn't get anything there either. Alright, guys. Well, didn't get any upgrades today. We did get a perfect shadow step aspect, which was nice. And uh, next episode, we'll continue the grind. It's nice hitting level 82 as well. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.